Sometimes rolling solo is a pretty popular choice among anybody who wants to seem mysterious or badass or cool. And usually having this moniker sort of implies that this person is very steeled. But if you ask King Cruel, alone Omen 3 is not necessarily praising that in a way. And it also is hinting at the fact that potentially it might not be a thing that is always good nor bad. It just kind of is a gray area sometimes. What I mean by this is throughout the song with this instrumental that sort of feels like a very dreary hope sort of um, sl um, sliding in and out, we get King Cruel sort of talking about maybe test yourself if you are feeling low instead of just kind of throwing unabashed positivity through the, um, the, the throughout, throughout the song, what King Cruel does instead is sort of offer a challenge. Maybe test yourself by drawing a line in the sand between your thighs and seeing where you decide to go. Sometimes we have to be put in adverse situations to test not only our mettle, but how or what we choose to do. Not only this, but then he flips it and sort of talks about how even though we might feel lonely, we are constantly surrounded by people. Currently, I believe the earth is like 10,000 billion, full of 10,000 billion souls out there, all roaming around or something. And technically, in a way, you are never truly alone in whatever matter of the universe that you're participating in. Unless you're God, I guess. Is God lonely? And it's sort of a kind gesture in a way to not only talk about that you're not alone does not only exist in this positive format, but at the same time, it also exists in this sort of almost anxiety-inducing for format. Because though he talks about testing yourself if you're sad and remembering that you're not the only person on this earth who's dealing with things and thus not to guilt you, but sort of remind you that, hey, things can get better and it's possible. It's just not done in the typical format that a normal, maybe a pop song might be like, everything's going to be fine. Na, 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 na. Um, never heard a pop song that sounds like that, but it's totally fine. <laughs> not only... Again, like I said, does he sort of swerve in these different directions of what it's like to be alone? He even talks about the fact that even when you're literally by yourself, your thoughts are kind of surrounding you. And if you suffer from any kind of anxiety or depression or any kind of mental illness, it's really difficult to be physically alone, like in your own house or your own space, because being alone with your thoughts doesn't really give you any peace. Not, now this is not everyone's one-to-one -one experience, but I just feel as though when it comes to struggling with something like that, especially anxiety, where you're kind of like sort of circling through these same playlist of thoughts, it's hard to really focus alone. And my favorite line on this friggin' song, oh my god, he, he says, even the omen of paradise, like it's okay to feel what you feel, but in, in, in the omen of paradise, and I was like, yo, that's crazy, because it just makes me think of a song like Where's the Catch with Andre 3000 and James Blake, where both singer and rapper sort of navigate the feeling of like this is gonna go wrong because things don't just stay perfect nothing ever nothing good ever lasts nothing bad ever lasts everything just has an expiration date and so i am suspicious i can't even enjoy the thing because i'm suspicious and here with that same thing and and at the same time that king cruel says this talks about the only paradise and how you're not alone he, he starts to say that again He's in, he's surrounded on the music video, he's surrounded by all these mirrors. And then it starts to turn into this, like the instrumental becomes this sort of anxiety inducing, just like mash of guitars. Like the guitar is getting louder. You're hearing alone, like coming from all different directions. And it's like, you really truly aren't alone. And that isn't a good thing, but it also isn't a bad thing. Again, it's all dependent on the context of loneliness and being alone and how people feel about that. It's always good as an individual to be able to 
be composed and enjoy yourself and not necessarily in a narcissistic way, but be able to look at yourself in the mirror and say, you look great. And loving yourself and self-love is an intense, intense journey. Um, some people are just born with a lot more confidence than others. And for some, it just takes a lot of time to really achieve that. So in a way, as King Cruel navigates the idea of being alone, so too are other humans. Again, he's not alone in this. And the idea of the omen of paradise is just such a beautiful touch that I really, really enjoyed. So overall, I really love this song. I think it's, I think it's a nice, um, sort of nice, it's a different way to look at the experience of being alone. Instead of kind of hitting it with tunnel vision, he kind of splits it in two different, two different directions and explores it in a way with a really cool um, instrumental that again feels like almost this exasperated hope that's just crawling around trying to stay alive and that idea of survival being sort of crunched by or pulled in two different directions is incredibly difficult so put put a hey girl hey girl better put a put a, a stick in the sand between your thighs see where it goes please don't ever ask a girl that or anybody that you know for a song about being alone three omens isn't bad you know I personally would give it five omens out of seven but you know three omens three omens is cool as long as they're all good omens or almonds I like almonds too, because almonds kind of sound just a little bit like almonds. Eat nuts, people. They're healthy. Unless you're allergic, then do not disregard this video. No, disregard the outro. Oh god, just, just cut it. Just, just cut it. Please just cut it. This is bad. I can't believe I've done this.